I used 1,000 Rubik's Cubes to build a perfect circle over 50 feet wide. Why? Well, because today is March 14th, or Pi Day, a very mathematical holiday celebrating a number called Pi that starts out 3.14, just like the date, which is 3-14. If you don't know, Pi is just the distance around a circle, its circumference, compared to the distance across that circle, its diameter. So if you have a circle that's one foot wide, it's gonna be 3.14 feet around. Now, of course, pi doesn't stop there. It's an irrational number, which means its decimal places keep on going forever. So there are lots of fun pi day activities, depending on your definition of fun. You can try and memorize as many digits as possible, or you can try and calculate pi on your own as precisely as possible. There's countless different ways to do this, but perhaps the most obvious is to just build a giant circle measure how big it is around versus how big it is across, divide those two numbers, and there you have pi. And what better to build a giant circle out of than 1,000 identical Rubik's Cubes? That's what brought me and these three boxes to this very noisy parking lot where none of my audio is usable, so let's enjoy some bad lip reading instead. Now the first step is to figure out how big our circle needs to be, its diameter. And we're gonna do that by laying out exactly 300 Rubik's Cubes into a perfectly straight line. Luckily, this part was pretty fast and easy. So here we have our mostly straight line of 300 Rubik's Cubes. So now I'm gonna go find the exact center point and then use this really long string and a piece of chalk to draw an outline of where our circle should be on the pavement. I've had a lot of issues with imperfect circles in the past, so I did my absolute best to draw it as precisely as possible. And now that we have our outline, it's finally time to start building our giant circle. And boy, this part was a lot of work. Just setting down all these cubes took the better part of an hour. And here is our giant Rubik's Cube circle finished. Just look at how big it is. Now all that's left is to count how many cubes are in it. So our count came out to 942 cubes, plus this little gap, which looks like it's about half a Rubik's Cube wide. So that means our final circumference is 942 and a half cubes. And of course our diameter was 300 cubes. So let's go ahead and plug those numbers into our calculator to see what value we get. So 942.5 divided by 300, and our estimate of pi is 3.1416. That is really dang close. Just to put in perspective how dang close that is, the error, so basically the difference between our value and the actual value, works out to 0.002%. As an engineer, that's what we call super close enough. In fact, in our over 50 foot wide circle, the circumference that we measured was about one millimeter off from its theoretical value. So basically we got really lucky by looking at that gap and thinking about half a Rubik's cube. Our circle must have been drawn really well, but we had no business being that precise. Anyway, I hope you all have a happy Pi Day. I hope you all enjoyed this insane project. It took way longer than I thought it would, but that's pretty much it. And oh, wait a minute. 3.14159265358979323846264338327 Two five three four two one one seven zero six seven.